Good day, kids. Today, we are going to discuss the introduction to measurement. Before we start the lesson, prepare your notebooks and pens and jot down important details of our topic. Our goals for today's lesson are 1. Describe what it means to measure. 2. Recognize the development of measurement from primitive to the latest system of measurement. 3. Differentiate the two standard systems of measurement. And number 4. Relate accurate measurement in daily life situation. Now, let us have this activity. Which is which? What animals are on your screen? Very good. We have an elephant and a giraffe. They are both huge, right? But let's check. Which one is heavier and which one is larger? We are going to answer that later. How about this? Are you familiar with the following pictures? Maybe most of you are familiar. Do you know what are the names of the following measurement on the picture? Save your answer because we will define first what measurement is. What is measurement? Measurement is the process of finding a number that shows the size or amount of something. It is a basis or standard of comparison of quantity according to attributes. Measurement attributes can be spatial, either length, area, and volume, physical, mass, and temperature, and have no physical connection, time. Before we can compare measurement, we must first know the attribute of the object. Dapat alam natin kung ano ba ang susukatin natin, kung bigat ba, haba, laki, init, o lamig. Hindi kasi natin pwede ikumpara ang mga bigat sa init dahil hindi sila magkapareho ng attribute o katangian. Ngayon, sagutin natin ang mga tanong kanina. Which is heavier? Which is larger? Again, we must need to know first the attributes that we will be using for us to compare the measurement. The first question, which is heavier, is pertaining to the weight. Let us now compare the weight of the elephant and giraffe. An average weight of an elephant is about 6,350 kilograms and a giraffe is 1,360 kilograms. Kg is the shortened form of the word kilogram. Now, by knowing their weight, can you tell me which one is heavier? Great! Elephant is heavier than the giraffe. The second question, which is larger, is pertaining to the length of the two animals. An average body length of elephant is about 3 to 5 meters and the giraffe is about 5 to 6 meters. M is the shortened form of the word meter. Can you tell me now which among these animals has larger body length than the other? Very good. Giraffe is larger than the elephant. Have you noticed that I used kg or kilogram for both of the weight and m or meter for both of the length? m or meter and kg or kilogram are examples of units of measure. Take note that it is easier to compare measurement if we are using same units of measurement. Non-standard units of measure. The earliest recorded uniform systems of measurement was originated 
during 3rd and 4th millennium BC among the ancient Egyptians. They needed measurement for the purpose of agriculture, construction, and trade. They used their body parts to measure things and time. This is what we call non-standard units of measurement. Wala pa kasing mga gamit na panukat noong sinuunang panahon, kaya ang mga parte ng kanilang katawan ang kanilang ginagamit sa pagsukat ng kanilang mga taniman, mga bahay, at kung ano pa. Balikan natin ang ikalawang grupo ng mga larawan natin kanina. Ano sa palagay nyo ang tawag dito? Tama, sa ating mga Pilipino, ito ay dangkal. The second picture is what we called cubit. Sa Tagalog, ito ay isang siko. Ano kaya ang huling larawan? Magaling, sa atin ito ay hakbang. This picture showing measurement using body parts are called non-standard units of measurement. Subukan mo nga ang paghambingin ng iyong dangkal, isang siko at hakbang sa isa sa iyong kasama sa bahay. Magkaparehas ba kayo? Let us have the following examples of non-standard units of measurement. Number one, palm. It is the width of the hand, excluding the thumb. Sa ating mga Pilipino, ito ay tinatawag na palad o lapad ng palad. Second is hand span o dangkal. When you spread your fingers apart, the distance from the tip of the little finger to the tip of the thumb is called handspan. Kindly of look at the picture to see how to use handspan. The third one is cubit o isang siko. It is the length of the forearm from elbow to the tip of the middle finger. The picture shows what cubit is. The fourth one is digit. It is the thickness of the index finger. Kindly check the picture to show what digit is. Number five is foot. It is basically the length of human foot. Kindly check the picture to see what foot is. And last, number six, pace o hakbang. It is the distance of one full step. Again, kind of look at the picture to see what pace is. Take note that these non-standard units varies on the person who will take the measurement. Now, let's discuss standard units of measure. Under this, we have the English system and the metric system. Let's compare the two. One. English system is commonly used in United States, while the metric system is used commonly around the world. Tayong mga Pilipino ay isang halimbawa ng mga kalimitang nagamit ng metric system. Number two, English system's conversion requires memorization. On the next slides and lessons, you will know why do we need to memorize the English system. Metric systems conversion, on the other hand, is easy by using the power of 10. It is easy because we can just multiply or divide the measurement by 10. Number 3. Some of the English system's measurement includes inch, foot, mile, Pound and gallon. And some of the metric system measurement includes meter, gram, liter, and others. It also uses prefixes such as kilo, centi, milli, deci, and many more. English system do not have prefixes. On the next slides, we are going to familiarize on the common measurements under the English and metric system. Take note of its shortened form. Standard units of measure under metric system. 
common lens measurement. One centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. One decimeter is equal to 10 centimeters. One meter is equal to 10 decimeters or 100 centimeters. One decameter is equal to 10 meters. One hectometer is equal to 100 meters and one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. Common weight or mass measurement. One centigram is equal to 10 milligrams. One decigram is equal to 10 centigrams. One gram is equal to 10 decigrams or 1,000 milligrams. One decagram is equal to 10 grams. One hectogram is equal to 100 grams. And one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. Common liquid volume measurement. One centiliter is equal to 10 millimeters. One deciliter is equal to 10 centiliters. One liter is equal to 10 deciliters or 1,000 millimeters. One decaliter is equal to 10 liters. One hectoliter is equal to 100 liters and one kiloliter is equal to 1,000 liters. Standard units of measure under English system. Common length measurement. 12 inches is equal to 1 foot. 3 feet is equal to 1 yard. 1 mile is equal to 1,760 yards or 5,280 feet. Common weight or mass measurement. 16 ounces is equal to 1 pound. 2,000 pounds is equal to 1 ton. Common liquid volume measurement. 8 fluid ounces is equal to 1 cup. 2 cups is equal to 1 pint. 2 pints is equal to 1 quart. And 1 quart is equal to 1 gallon. As you can notice, in metric system charts, conversion is easy as multiplying and dividing by 10. On the other hand, in English system chart, conversion is difficult since it needs to be memorized. Kids, we are almost done with the lesson, but before we end this, let's have some activities to check things we learned in this topic. Let's try. Measure the length of your table using a ruler and your hand span. Ask your parent, sibling, or relative to do the same. I will give you one minute to do so. Time's up. Now, let's answer the following questions. 1. Is it difficult to do the actual measuring? 
O nahirapan ba kayong magsukat? Tama! Hindi mahirap sukatin ang haba ng lamesa gamit lang ang dangkal at ruler. 2. What have you observed on the outcome that you and your partner get? Magkaparehas ba kayo? Sa ruler, posible na parehas kayo ng sukat, pero sa dangkal, maaring hindi. Dahil posible din na magkaiba kayo ng sukat ng dangkal. 3. Do you think a ruler or hand span is the best way we can use in measuring a pathwalk in your community? Why? Tama! Dahil maaaring mahaba ang mga pathwalk o iskinita sa inyong lugar, May mga tamang uri ng panukat para rito. Ngayon naman, pumunta tayo sa iba pang mga exercises sa lesson na ito. Let's answer Practice Exercise 1 Compare the following measurements using less than, greater than, or equal to. Number 1 10 meters, blank, 1 centimeter. Very good. 10 meters is greater than 1 centimeter. Number 2. 1 liter, blank, 1,000 milliliters. Good job. 1 liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. Number 3. 100 grams, blank, 10 kilograms. Very good. 100 grams is less than 10 kilograms. 4. 2 feet, blank, 40 inches. Correct. 2 feet, is less than 40 inches. Number 5. 4 quarts, blank, 7 pints. Nice job! 4 quarts is greater than 7 pints. Now, let's proceed to practice exercise number 2. Select the best estimate of the following. Number 1. Weights of a cup of coffee. Is it 200 milligrams, 200 grams, or 200 kilograms? You're right. 200 grams is the best estimate for the weight of the cup of coffee. Number 2. Weights of some paper clips. Is it 0.6 gram, 0.6 hectogram, or 0.6 kilogram? You're right. 0.6 gram is the best estimate for the weights of some paper clips. Number 3. Volume of a milk carton. Is it 10 milliliters, 10 liters, or 1 liter? Correct. 1 liter is the best estimate for the volume of the milk carton. Number 4. Length of a pencil. Is it 1 inch, 1 yard, or 1 foot? Great job! 1 foot is the best estimate for the length of a pencil. Number 5. Weight of a baby. Is it 5 ounces, 5 pounds, or 5 tons? Great! 5 pounds is the best estimate for the weight of a baby. You're doing great, kids! Now, let's review. What is measurement? Very good, kids! It is the process of finding the size, amount, or quantity of something and is the basis or standard comparison of quantity according to attributes. 
What are the NAND standard units of measurement examples discussed? Great job! The NAND standard units of measurement examples discussed are palm, hand span, digit, cubit, foot, and base. Now, what are the two systems discussed on the standard units of measurement? You're all right. These are the English system and metric system. And for your final exercise today, in your paper, draw a heart if the measurement below is under metric system and a star if it is under English system. Ready? Number one, pound. Heart or star? Number two, meter. Heart or star? Number three, gram. Heart or star? Number four, feet. Heart or star? And last, number five, Liter, heart, or star? Okay, let's check. Be honest, kids. The answer for number one pound is a star. It is under English system. Number two, meter, is heart because it is under metric system. Number three, gram. Heart, it is under metric system. Number four, feet, it is star because it is under English system. And last, number five, liter, is heart. It is under metric system. And for your assignment, through the help of your parents, siblings, or some relative, Get the measurement of your height using the following units. Number 1 feet, number 2 centimeter, and number 3 meter. I know you learned a lot today. Remember, the only way to learn mathematics is to do the mathematics. Thank you kids and see you on the next lesson.